Namaste, and welcome back to our continuing journey through the Tao Te Ching. Today we continue this profound journey with Chapter 41. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 41 The learned discovers the Tao, duly obliges. The learning discovers the Tao and questions its potency. The unlearned discovers the Tao and roars into laughter. Without the laughs, it would not be the Tao. Therefore, words of wisdom goes. Those enlightened by the Tao seem confused. Those progressing towards the Tao seem to fall behind. Those who discredit the Tao seem honorable. Those virtuous seem desolate. Those honest seem humiliated. Those of noble virtue seem lacking. Those building on virtue seem fraudulent. Those of principled character seem to waver. Great squareness is without turning corners. Great instruments are deliberately constructed. Great vocalists seldom raise their voices. Great icons are shapeless. The Tao is a master of providing and empowering. Wow, what a beautiful chapter. I hope you are able to hear these words again and to find the deep meaning that lies hidden within these simple yet profound words. Please share this with someone who you feel will benefit from joining this journey. Leave me a comment and let me know how you felt. I look forward to seeing you on our continuing journey through this profound book, The Tao Te Ching. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.